Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I want to warmly welcome you to the 2021 Informs Annual Meeting and attend our session on causal inference analysis for information retrieval. I want to first say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are. And as your session chair, I'm very excited to present this topic to you because causal inference analysis is a fast growing domain, particularly when coupled with the modern progress we've made in machine learning. Causal inference really has the potential to solve many of the emerging challenges we face in today's information retrieval world. By seeking the answer of why, causal inference provides extremely powerful tools to answer our questions. And the organization of today's session is as follow. As the session chair, I'm going to address a very brief opening remark. Then I'm going to hand over to our first speaker, Yu Tin, from the SUS Tech University to talk about his research on towards robust off-policy learning and evaluation for runtime uncertainty. Then our second speaker, Chuan Wei from Instacart, which is a fast-growing grocery delivery company based in San Francisco, is going to talk about ranking grocery items with quality constraints using counterfactual modeling. After that, our third speaker, Fen Shi from the Stanford University, is going to talk about using auction throttling to measure the effect of online advertising. Our final speaker, Zinan from JD.com, which is a leading e-commerce platform in China, is going to discuss toward the modern experiment framework design for e-commerce. My, my opening remark concentrates on how causal inference may reshape the landscape of information retrieval. We all know that information retrieval is about understanding how complex learning systems interact with the environment. We've seen this type of examples day to day in the advertisement, recommendation, and search engines. The purpose of developers is to keep refining the system on a day to day basis. To do that, we need to understand, which in turn can translate to we need to predict the consequence of changes we make to the system. The changes we make can include launching a new model, using a different set of features, or changing the displacements of the advertisement, recommended products, or a search outcome. Modern machine learning have made it possible for the causal discovery to characterize large scale systems. We now have the capability to understand how the different causal factors affects the customer's behavior and their decision-making process. Those causal factors, particularly the causal relationship among those causal factors differentiate themselves from the previous associative analysis. Being causal is in some sense much, a much stronger statement than being associated. And we wish to leverage that knowledge to conduct effective counterfactual reasoning for the purpose of such as estimating the effect of a new design, the bias in our ranking algorithms, promoting the fairness, and perhaps even the long-term long engagement of our customers for solving the exploration exploitation lemma, which is extremely important for information retrieval recommender systems and for bridging the offline and online measurements as we often observe different various types of gaps and even for the robust performance of out of sample data because we know that the daily, the daily production scenario we work with have to, have to have a lot of out of sample data. All of this contributes to improving the operational performance of our learning system. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to our first speaker. Let's give them a warmly welcome. Thank you.